Hi, I'm Louise Giblin. I'm an associate of the Royal British Society of Sculptors and I have a rather unusual job in that I persuade otherwise sane people to stand very still wearing next to nothing while I cover them in plaster. And this is Beth's plaster cast. I, I came up to Liverpool in 2011 because I was casting for a show in London in 2012 where I did five famous sports people. I did uh, Beth, uh, Dame Kelly Holmes, Chris Akabusi, Sunny Gunnell, and a Paralympian called Darren Leach. And I cast each of them. I took their casts, laid it open, put clay in it, and then made a clay positive of their body, and I then carved into them. On each of the bodies, I asked the person what they perceived to be their greatest sporting triumph. And Beth chose um, 2009, her world gold in 2009. So if you look at the sculpture, you'll find there are images of Beth competing. Um, there's the seating plan from the O2 Arena, which actually, when I was looking into designs for the piece, um, I found this, and it's very like the Aztec symbols. They, the Aztecs, they had, they were very sporting communities. Well, you know, if you didn't succeed, you died. So it sort of helped if you were good. And um, the awards, they quite often awards them with these um, medals and placards that would not just sim this, and they were sort of like power symbols. So I put one of those on Beth. We've got the London skyline with the famous EastEnders aerial view of the um, Thames. I've got the O2 Arena here, um, a stylised London eye, and the London skyline running across Beth's chest. And then on the back, if you take a tour around, I'll show you on this one. On the back, I carved in a stylised musculature, and that's because if you meet a highly achieving sports person, as you're talking to them, you're very aware of their physical presence. Most of us aren't don't work like that. You look at someone and you're just sort of like converse that, but you are very aware. If you meet Chris Akabusi and he walks in through the door, the first thing you think is, oh my goodness, you're way bigger than I thought because he was in a relay team with guys who were huge, like six or seven. Um, but you're aware of someone's physicality and you think about their body as sort of like a functioning machine. So I wanted to do a, come up with a design that suggested something of that power and that structure. So that's where that came from. The show in London, um, as I say, it was in London during 2012, which was quite good. Um, and the sales of the pieces helped to raise money for Head First, which is a brain injury charity. But they're still on sale. They're, we, I cast editions of up to 12. So if anybody would like one, please, please let me know. Um, and I'm currently casting for uh, 2014. Um, for a Living Legends series. So if anyone knows, I've got three already. I've cast uh, Michael Portillo, Lord Colin Minahan, who was the chairman of the British Olympic Association at the time of the Games, and Heather Mills. So <laughs> if anybody knows a couple of people who are famous, who've been interesting for a long period of time for different reasons, let me know. Anyway, Beth, thank you so much. Uh, this is Beth's piece. This is in a cold cast brass, so it's golden, like her golden achievement. This piece here, um, which is here thanks to Paul and the team here, um, has been lent by one of my clients who had it cast in a, a cold cast bronze because of Beth getting the bronze medal. He's a big fan of yours. And um, anyway, this is Beth's piece, so thank you very much, Beth. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you okay with it on your own? Because like, yeah. I'm sure people rather have pictures of you than me. Yeah, so, yeah. Do you want to start yeah, with can we reposition you over here? It's, it's a strange feeling. It's quite cool though. I've shown everyone the pictures and like Dan especially, he's like, I can't believe they've done that. He thinks it's wicked. Oh, cool. You've got to make room on the mantelpiece now. I know, where the heck is that going to hurt? <laughs> <laughs> it's not your everyday uh, ornament, is it? <laughs> it's cool though. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Well, you can't touch that. Oh, you can't touch that. Plastic rolls. Well, the pound for every file that goes to the charity. Okay, thank you.